bunch of the um, glowing elegance. What the flip are the glowing elegance? What is this? Oh, God damn it. 4,000 glowing elegance. What are the glowing elegance? That's, that's my, that's my thing. What are glowing elegance? That's the glowing elegance. Okay, cool. Um, let's eat through. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get the more. Oh my god, this is what I get for taking so much breaks. Uh, let's go ahead and confirm. We're just gonna be blasting through stuff. Man. That's how we do it, man. Even though it's price 90. Doctor, Doctor Gold 90. We can do it. Unless somehow I can manage to get freaking 2,000 in like a day. We'll just exit right now, because I want to see if there's anything else I can do to earn those. It said I just need 4,000. Okay, so let's look at this again. I'm at how many? No, that's still said 1942. Was it 1912 earlier? I thought that was 1912. <laughs> Let's do this. We know what to do. We know how to get there. We're off. That's not the direction we go. That is definitely not the direction we go. Son of a bastard. Our 
goal today is just to get all this done as much as I can get done. Alright, Rally, you came in just the nick of time. Could you do me a small favor? I, it depends on what the favor is. There's really nothing. I mean, maybe you really would appreciate it if you could go to the Sea of Data and Monterey when we get a few documents today from um, Alan. Document. Uh, yeah, our company is responsible for development of the consulting regarding the Sea of Quanta. Da, 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 da. Oh, that's the Sea of Quanta, not the Sea of Data. Uh, I still am confusing the Sea of Data and Sea of Quanta. Thing. Anyway, uh, so we have close conversation with the Monday Visiting Agency. Yeah, alright, we will see you then. Uh, thank you so much, I'm Sea Jim. Why did you volunteer me for that? Huh? <laughs> the road. Come on, open door, this is the slowest door. Hey there, youngsters. Are you here to hear my stories? I've been waiting. I've been waiting here. Not really. Hello, Miss Adam. Uh, we're here to help she she Chiyu retrieve some documents. Uh, the impatience today of today, too. Allow me to check briefly. Just a moment, please. Maybe a little longer. Just. Do we, do we still have to wait? By the looks of by the look on your face, I think you already know where the file is. That's right. Uh, have you ever heard of a person named Willa? Willa? Yeah? I'm guessing that's how you say that. Uh, she's my childhood friend in the story, and a few days ago she actually left the main to the Dragon Star Expedition. So you returned Shiwu's file back to her by accident. No, the situation is a bit more complicated. Uh, Kulia's son took the file. Do you know his address? I can go get it for the file back for you. I do, but he threw it. Never mind, I wish you luck. God damn it. <gasps> Going up, up the daisy. All right, kid, give me it. Oh, may I ask, huh? Do you know what respect means? This is Boss Giuseppe's territory. I will bitch slap you, you talk to me like that. That's right, I possess a big wheel and eagle, the righteousness of a wolf, and the keenness of a leopard, and the strength of a bear. I am the boss of this street, the mind of Giuseppe. I will slap you till kingdom come you act like that. You better bow respectfully and offer your apologies. So many girls and kids that I scared them. I should apologize. Kids, I suggest you refrain from judging people based on appearances. Otherwise, we might view you solely as a rebellious teenager with brute strength. No need for an apology, but there is something I'd like to ask your help for. With. Tisk. That was unimpressive. Fine, what kind of help do you need? A few days ago, did you accidentally take a document from this office? Oh, so you're the one who's lacking. So let me warn you, Ed. If you don't want to be the grim fate, don't meddle in our personal grudges. No, actually, we should have stubborn in the force, huh? All right, then. Let's settle the dispute in the usual alleyway. Actually, it's stubborn as a mule. Do we have to resort to violence? If any form of fighting has proved as I enter as a coward, I don't want to get in trouble for such a weird reason. We're aliens. Uh, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> we don't want that. Oh my god, they didn't even care about the best. How about we exchange some chits? Chits? You mean ransom? Uh, I don't have to be so formal. 
No. The so-called chips are vouchers for exchanging rare items. How about we exchange your documents for equally important items from my projection? Important items? Well, let's see what you can bring to the table. Since you're a member of the alley, I assume you're always looking for a trusted weapon. I happen to have a decent dagger. I guess I'll exchange you for the document. Really? If you dare to see me, I'll... I'll... Rest assured, Boss Giuseppe. People from the alley value honesty above all else. I never deceive anyone. If I'm not mistaken, isn't that her old stick? Thank you. Thank you very much. No problem. After all. After all. What? I can't read. Um, after all these years of mingling in Lanky, dealing with young folk like him is a walk in the park. As for the dagger you mentioned, piece of cake. We just need to make a quick trip back to Lanky. Back in the old days when I roamed the streets, I misplaced the dagger around here. I found it right here. Okay, so. Here it is. Doesn't look twisted after all these years and has rusted. Funky makes me feel guilty that you're giving away something so significant for such a trivial matter. Let's consider another solution. Not that important, I still have a hundred of these daggers. But it's why is it wise to hand over such a regulated weapon to a youngster with little experience? Despite his good nature, what if he acts impulsively? I've already taken that into account. Shwing! Funky your dagger into her own arm with loud clang to lay the trap with. <laughs> In the past, I used this dagger to deceive many people, but I abandoned it here to avoid trouble. It's an antiquated artifact from Lanky, more than enough to see. Uh, help that young man. <laughs> you truly live up to your re reputation, Sonky. I'll take that as a praise for my meticulous nature. Alright, time to spike some shadows. Back to teleport. Alright, good. We're gonna continue on. After this transaction, we'll be buddies of the alley. If you encounter any trouble, just mention the name Giuseppe, and I'll be there in no time. <laughs> Fantastic. That was not a double jump. It was a single jump. Oh, there you go. She I thought you might have forgotten, gotten lost in the sea of gold. 
is quite the adventure, but as long as the file's intact, everything is fine. Yeah, yeah, thank you. All right. Here, as a thank you, mini cake from Sweet Tooth, a rare limited edition. Thank you. What are you doing? Did you mention you had a mini with your ten video conferences promised me these two, right? She's got me. Anyways, that'll be it for this one. We're going to be continuing on this as much as I can before I back out again. Alrighty. You have yourself a great rest of whatever. Bye.